Hey guys, it's X, Guinea Pig Helper X, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a homemade guinea pig bathroom. Um, first things first, you're going to need like a basket, like a plastic basket. This is a new and inver improved version. The other one was cardboard, and we need plastic. Um, so let's get started. I've already started by like adding, I added like some tape here, so like the bedding can't get out or anything. And the inside too, plastic basically like aligned it with that. You wanna and you wanna like by doing that. Yeah, you wanna do that. And then on the side of the mark, so put the stuff. So what you're gonna need is like obviously a basket. Um, maybe some pliers or scissors or whatever. Like something that can cut plastic. And some tape. And if you don't have a hair fresh, I'd say get some newspaper and like just cut it up into like squares. Or you can use hair fresh, which by the way is here. But I'd rather use newspaper bedding for this project because um this is my hamsters. inside but it's really sticky so to prevent that you need to put like a layer of tape here too which is what I'm going to do right now measure cut and place Do this if you're like basket like this. You can use basically any basket as long as it's plastic and they can be clean easily. Like that. Yeah, so it's basically scored edges. Like all plastic edges and tape. Now we'll 
pieces. So this, the bigger the piece sometimes looks better. But when you do the corners, smaller pieces. The smaller pieces work better. And the bigger the honking pieces. So like all your sides are like taped down and back. So like that. So basically you have like three sides all taped in and out. Uh, and to test it, make sure like if you have all of any paper wedding cut or frail wedding, that's a different part all the time. You can get that out in the mud. This is not boiled and the basket is clean. You may put it for a second. And wherever there's like little blue pieces up here, it tells you that you need to take a little bit of Okay. After you have done that, you want to cut out like a side like right here. Which is what I'm going to do right now. Easy if you have the right kind of pliers. Like, that's like a message that tells you if you have the right ones. So, I'm gonna get that done and get right back to you guys. Six. And if you have to do it like this, make sure you can at least, um, at least like from here to here. And just get started. Yeah, like there's a bunch of room for the end just to get in and out. I'm gonna do that and get right back to you guys. Thanks. Watch part two. Bye. It's last year.